In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to copy or cut and then paste files in Google Drive. So, if you have files in Google Drive and you want to copy one of those files into a different folder or maybe cut one of those files and paste it into a different folder so that it's moved or maybe you just want to make a copy of the files and have two files in the same place. All of that used to be pretty difficult to do in Google Drive but Google recently added a feature that allows you to easily copy and cut and paste files in Google Drive. And that makes all of this really easy. So in this video, Timmy's going to show you how it's all done. And the way this is all done is by using keyboard shortcuts. And Timmy's going to be using a Windows computer for this demonstration. So if you're using a Windows computer or a Chromebook, you will be able to do exactly what Timmy does, and it'll all work. But if you're using a Mac computer, so an Apple computer, you'll just need to press Command instead of Control. So if Timmy presses Control V, you'll just need to press Command V, and so on, like that. But once you're in Google Drive, if you wanted to copy this file right here, you would just need to click on it to highlight it, don't double click on it because then it would just open like this, which you don't want. Just click on it one time so that it's highlighted like this. And now you need to press a keyboard shortcut. So if you hold down the control key, you'll just need to press the C while holding it down. And you'll see this message here that says item copied to clipboard. So that means the file is now copied and you couldn't let go of the control key now. And now you can paste it somewhere. So if you just wanted to paste it in the same place so that you have two copies of the same file next to each other, you could just press Control and then V and now your file will be pasted. So now you have two copies of the same file. The first time you try to do this, it will probably pop up with a warning saying that Google Drive wants to be able to paste things or something like that. And it might pop up somewhere here, but when that happens, you'll just need to click allow or agree or whatever that button is, and then you'll be able to paste. And now that's all done. So now you have two different copies of the one file. So that's really cool. But if you wanted to copy the file and paste it into a different location so that you have one copy of the file in my drive or anywhere else, and then another copy of the file in a different folder, you can do that pretty much the same way. You just click on the file to select it, and then press Control and C again to copy it. And now just go into the folder where you want to paste it. So Timmy's going to paste it inside example folder. And now once you're in the folder, just hold down Control and press V and now it will paste that picture there. And while you've got the picture here, if you go back to my drive, the original file will still be here. So now you have two different copies of the one file in two different places. So that's really cool. But if you don't want the original file to be there and you just want to basically move the file from this place to another place without having to drag it or do anything like that, you can use the cut feature. So to do that, you just click on it just like before, but this time hold down control and press X. And now it will be cut. And the file will still be there right now because you haven't pasted it anywhere else. But so now you just need to go to where you want to paste the file. So Timmy will paste it back in this folder here. And now you just need to press Control and V, just like normal. And now it's put this picture here. And if we go back to my drive, which is where the original file was, the file's not here. And you'll notice, inside this folder here, it doesn't say copy of, because it's not a copy, it's really just moved the original file. So if you've got a lot of different files and folders, and it's too hard to move a file the normal way by dragging it, this can make it really easy. And that's all there is to it. So now you can easily copy, cut, 
and paste files in Google Drive. So that's really cool, but if you want to see how to rename files in Google Drive, be sure to watch this video right here.